Hey guys, so I've got good news, also good news, and a bit of bad news. Hello and welcome to my third review. In this review, I'll be reviewing The Amazing Spider-Man 2. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is the sequel to a little-known Mexican art film known as El Sorprendente Hombre Araña. The movie stars Andrew Garfield as Peter Parker and his stunt double as Spider-Man, let's not kid ourselves, Emma Stone as Gwen Stacy, Spider-Man's girlfriend who is famous for... something, I don't know, what could it be, no one knows, do not google that. Dane DeHaan as Harry Osborn, no relation to Ozzy Osborn, and Jamie Foxx with two X's as Django, I mean Electro, Electro. He looks like Dr. Manhattan, but he has electric bolt thingies all over him. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. First piece of good news, ready? This movie is better than Spider-Man 3! <coughs> Second piece of good news? This movie is better than Amazing Spider-Man 1. Seriously, it is. I had an interesting situation going into this movie. You see, my girlfriend hadn't seen Amazing Spider-Man 1, so just before we went to this one, we watched the other one. So the first movie was still fresh in my memory. Hell, I don't think 20 minutes passed before I went to see the other movie, so I could really easily compare. And I can really, really honestly tell you, this one is a lot better than that one. It really is. It really stepped up its game. So if you like the first one, Mm. And now, the bad news. A lot of people I know really love this movie. Really, really love this movie. And I kinda didn't. I don't want to be that one asshole who pees in everybody's coffee. I don't. But a review is a review, so I gotta tell you guys what I really thought about it. So I'm sorry. If you like the movie, good for you. I... Alright, first off, a thing that I liked. This has probably been the best Spider-Man suit ever put on screen. Hands down, it's truly, truly amazing. Loved it, no pun intended. One thing that I liked about this movie was the development of Electro and Harry Osborn as characters. When they were being developed, I could uh, see where they were coming from, I could understand them. But as soon as they became villains, they became too evil too fast. I was like, whoa, hold down, slow down there, buddy, whoa. One thing that I really didn't like was the development of Peter and Gwen's relationship. It's like it was being written by graduates from the Vampire Diaries school of writing. Will they, won't they is cute and it's fine until they actually happen! These two are cute together, they work, they have chemistry, so why don't you just let them be together or not let them be together, make up your fucking mind! This movie had some really good moments in it, you could say they were... amazing. Yeah! There were some fight scenes with Electro in it, I was watching it and I was just like, DAMN! The real problem I would say with the movie is with the script. Here is the actual really true story of how The Amazing Spider-Man 2 came to be. Once upon a time, Sony wanted a sequel to Amazing Spider-Man 1, and they hired two people to write it. One guy thought that he really liked the Green Goblin and he wrote a story with the Green Goblin in it. The other guy thought that Electro was amazing and he wrote a story with Electro in it. In the end, Sony couldn't decide which party to go with, so what they did was they took both of these stories and SMASHED them together to make one super big story that everybody would love. I can understand where they're coming from, nobody wants to give up good material, but because they mixed it all up, it's kind of incoherent. It's like you're watching two different movies. Green Goblin moment, Electro moment, Green Goblin moment, Electro moment, Green Goblin moment, Electro moment, what? I think the movie would have been better with one very solid plotline throughout, but sadly it wasn't that. The saddest thing about the movie is that it had a really good bunch of ingredients to work with, but instead of building a cake, it built us poison in the shape of a cake. You can still taste some of the great ingredients though. It's like what would happen if your dog or your cat or your dragon or whatever ate some gold coins that you really wanted. And you have to sift through its poop to get it back? There's so much shit. But dude, it's gold! I want to say more about the movie, but it will be a spoiler, so let's just leave it there. I'm not gonna make a spoiler review because I really don't want to say that stuff all that much. However, there is a scene almost at the end of the movie which is a highlight both emotionally and musically. Props to Andrew Garfield for his acting, holy shit. Now I didn't get all teary eyed like a bunch of other people because I am actually a robot. Anyway, El Sorprendente Hombre Araña 2. Pirate the thing. 
So, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, did you see it? Did you like it? Do you totally disagree with me? Comment below and let me know. If you like my videos and you want to see more, just hit subscribe. I'll be making as many of these as I possibly can, as often as I possibly can. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and bye bye.